hopefully this will be the last day that I have to record a lesson because I'm out um, and uh, today we actually start something you know that I hinted at yesterday or kind of our last idea of the year that's gonna prepare you guys for calculus for those of you taking it next year um, or for those of you possibly taking it in college um, and the first idea of calculus that we really talk about is limits. You're going to hear me say zooming in a lot uh, or what looks like is going to happen because that's really what we're looking at. We're just examining behavior. But the first thing we're going to start off with is a definition, the definition of a continuous function. It, that's a function with no uh, holes or breaks. It's kind of the the simple Mr. Gill, uh, or breaks along its domain. Don't forget domain. That's going to be our X values. All right. Or our input. Um, so we're bringing back some of these old words, um, but we're going to be examining behavior in a, in a couple of different ways. Like I said, we're going to be zooming in. That's going to be a big idea. And also we're going to be seeing what looks like it's about to happen. Okay. Cause sometimes it's not what happens. We really care about what looked like was about to happen. Okay, so we're going to be finding the limit as x approaches 2 for this graph, okay, and the way we do that, okay, is we're looking as this function approaches x equals 2, what seems to be happening, okay, what seems to be happening. Uh, so this, th this notation here is the limit as x approaches 2 from the positive side. So here's two, right? And I'm just gonna kind of give you like a little key, I guess. We'll say that this is the positive side of two, right? So coming from the bigger values, and then this would be the negative side of two coming from the smaller values. Okay, so this is really uh, X approaching two from the left. Okay, that's kind of the way to think about it. Left going towards the right. So if I was on this, function and I was coming 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 towards x equals 2 right now we're like at 2.1 2.4 2.3 2.2 or 2.01 sorry 2.001 right we're zooming in to closer to x equals 2 and it looks like that function is going to hit what y value looks like it's going to hit 3 right f of x is the y value okay so 3 so for this function, we say the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is 3. As you get closer to x equals 2 from the left side, y looks like it's approaching 3. And if we go from the right, from the, uh, damn it, I said, I said left. And of course, you guys are listening to the audio, not just writing down what I wrote down because the positive side would be coming from the right. It's coming from the right going left, right? So obviously I've highlighted this right side and I went towards, I went left. Okay, all right, already a mistake. That's okay though. So now we're gonna do the limit as x approaches two from the negative side, which would be, f this one would be from its left side. Okay, what is the y value that it seems to be approaching? So we. Come from the left side, we start coming towards 2, start coming towards 2, we're inching up, we're at 2.5. That Y value is coming up, coming up, coming up. Oh man, it looks like it's about to hit 3. Okay, so again, what looked like was about to happen from the left side is that Y was going to equal 3. If both of these are the same, if the limit from the right and the limit from the left are the same, then we would say that the limit as x approaches 2 is 3. So basically, when you're looking at this graph from both sides, going towards x equals 2, it looks like the y is going to be 3. Now, obviously, from the graph, we can see that there's some weird behavior going on at x equals 2. We're going to kind of talk about it, right? Because even though the limit is 3, uh, we can only say that a function is continuous, right? And that's the word we defined up, up top, at a point if the actual value f of some value c is equal to the limit as x approaches c so this this is an important definition so let's let's see what is f of 2 what is that actual value well f 
of two. Oh, I should have wrote it on this other side. Give me some more space. F of two, and we talked about this yesterday. What is the actual value, right? So when X is two, what is the Y? Well, that's this random point up top. So F of two is five. F of two is five, because that's asking what is the point? Not what looks like is gonna happen, but what is the point? And that's really the differentiation we're trying to make. We're trying to differentiate between whether I'm asking where's the point at or where does it look like the point's gonna be at, okay? So the actual function value at x equals two is five, while the limit, which we found up here, was three. These are not the same, right? These are not the same. Therefore, it is not continuous. Nope. It is not continuous at x equals two, okay? And again, that fits by this definition up here that if it has holes or breaks, it is not continuous. And we're going to be looking at continuity at specific values instead of the whole function. So at this point, it's not continuous. Everywhere else right here, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, we're not good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're not good. And then we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. So we're going to be examining continuity at specific points now. Now, what about at x equals 1? What about at x equals 1? Well, let's try finding the limit as x approaches 1. It is really hard for me to draw arrows. I do not understand why. The limit as x approaches 1 from the, uh, we'll do the positive side again. Uh, so if we're coming from, and I'm going to get just to erase all this stuff. Okay. So if I was approaching x equals 1 from the positive side, from the positive side, then I am, wow, look at that. The universe likes to do uh, magical things for me. This is, this is the, the value I'm looking at. Okay. So from the right, okay, from the right, from the positive side of 1, it looks like that value is going to be going towards y equals 2, right? So limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side is 2. We could now do also the limit as x approaches 1 from the negative side. And from this graph, if we're coming from the left side, from the negative side, it looks like it's going towards 2 towards y equals 2. So the limit is 2. So the, oh, try to use a different color. So the limit, oh my goodness. So the limit as x approaches 1 of the function f of x is 2. So that's my limit. Is that my actual value? Well, as I look at the graph, there is no hole. There is just a value, a point there. The point is right here. There's not some open hole and it's somewhere else. So the actual value f of 1 is 2. Those are the same. Therefore, C or ne. I don't know if that's how you spell it. That's like yes in Korean or uh, what is it? No, that's gracias. Thank you. I don't know. Yes. Point is yes. Okay. Uh, that's like Korean, Spanish. I feel like I need to know some other language, but I can't think of any right now. Uh, all right. So... Basically, we knew that, obviously, just by looking at it, right? By looking at it, you were like, well, there ain't no hole, there ain't no break. So, of course, it's continuous right there. But this is going to be just an important concept, and right now, I want to start you guys off with just real basic fundamental ideas of it, looking at graphs, because it's obvious if you look at a graph, right? But then we're going to get really complex with it and have to do some algebraic techniques and all that good stuff, you know, make you feel real smart. Um, okay. Um, also, we got some these 
bad boys. Mm. Some good old asymptotes, and they make weird things happen with our limits. So sometimes if we have like a horizontal asymptote, then that will affect the behavior like as x approaches negative infinity. Can't see yellow. As x approaches negative infinity, right? So if you kept going to the left forever, then the y value is going to approach whatever this l is, right? And if you went towards positive infinity, if you were going to the right forever, it looks like the y value is going to approach this m. Okay. So, so this is a, a concept for um, so limits as you approach like a limit as x will approach negative infinity. That means what's happening as you go to the left, left forever. Where is it going? Okay. That's the question when we're looking at a limit as x approaches negative infinity. And then obviously if you're approaching uh, positive infinity, then it's what's happening if you went right forever. What y value are you approaching? Um, then we have vertical asymptotes. And these vertical asymptotes uh, mess with our x values. So if I was trying to see like, man, as I get closer to a, at, as close as, as x is going towards a, what is happening, right? What is happening? Maybe I look at it from the uh, left side, so from the negative side. If I'm on this roller coaster, what do I think is going to happen as I get closer to A? Man, it looks like I'm going up forever. Oh my goodness, I'm going to run out of oxygen. Oh my goodness, and I'm just going to pass out, and it's going to be game over, and I went into a black hole or something. I don't know, Interstellar or something. I didn't watch any of those movies. So, if I'm getting closer to A from the left side, it looks like I'm going to go up forever. So my Y value seems to be approaching positive infinity. If I'm coming from the right side, I'm coming from the right side. Oh my goodness. So that's the limit as X approaches A from the positive side. Man, that looks like it's also going up forever, also known as all the way up. Okay, so that would be positive infinity. Therefore, the limit as x approaches a is infinity. Okay, the limit as x approaches a is infinity. Right, so we have to kind of have that here. As x approaches a, y is approaching infinity. Okay, sometimes you won't have this though. Sometimes from one side it goes up, from one side, the other side it goes down forever. And then you got a conflict, right? They don't agree, so then you can't, the limit is not defined. If any of you guys are watching Mean Girls, which is a very old movie, so you may not have seen it, uh, Lindsay Lohan is like, the limit does not exist, the limit does not exist, the limit not, it does not exist. For the next week, if I call your name and you have no idea what we're doing, say the limit does not exist. Probably have a 25% chance that that's going to be the right answer to whatever I'm asking you. Okay, let's do one more in these last 15 minutes because I'm about to run out of time. Or two minutes. All right. The limit as x approaches two from the right side. So I'm coming from the positive side. Oh my goodness. That looks like it's going towards infinity and beyond. Hashtag Buzz Lightyear. As x approaches two from the negative side, so from the left side. Oh my goodness. We're going down, down. Yes. Okay. That looks like it's going to negative infinity. These are not the same. Now, we don't Lindsay Lohan and say the limit does not exist and write all that on our paper. We say D N E. The limit does not exist. Ain't nobody got time to write words, especially when you have bad handwriting. Uh, wish me luck, young people. Uh, hopefully, my interview goes good and all that good stuff. And I will be back on Wednesday.